And um, I hope this thing, uh, okay, we're about 48 people now. Penalty. 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 Because of one of the Muslims, oh my God, one or two people, and um, excuse. I, I told the mask reads here. Okay. Hello. Papa, <laughs> 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 Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. From here, no. Hi, Sean. Yeah, I'm calling from Doncaster, uh, Sheffield. Yeah, good, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, 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 I Okay, uh, fifty-one. I know I did it. Okay, okay. Any hidden camera here, I'll remove it. From Canada, I can take my excuse. I call up from New York. Uh, I'm on Marlo, okay? So you can use the audio, the audio please. So, so no, no, there's no point. You may have to consider this uh, non, uh, non uh, cameras because of uh, different. Uh,
Okay, I heard you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Just something. Just uh, people, uh, people uh, going uh, down uh, as well. Uh, 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 we should press uh, uh, that uh, uh, address that is there with the identity number. Doc, please be on mute when you are not uh, speaking to us in general. I think that will help so that we will not just somebody that has uh, issues getting in. It's important whenever we log into a meeting to get an admit and to be going to speak unless you want to say hello. Are you talking to me? General information. Oh, yeah, no, okay. oh what do you make it? Good morning. Hello. 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 Good evening from here. Good evening to my folk. Good evening to us. Okay, we this is 14 minutes past, and uh, I think we have to make a start. Okay, and this is 71 people now, and um, is it to increase the, um, I don't know, it's in my, uh, my be up to 100. somebody pray for us, please. <laughs> Am I coming out clear? Can I say prayer? Hello, everyone. Am I coming out clear? Yeah. Who, who is speaking? Okay, this is Chimobi Mba. I joined in with Chimonic Da Vinci. Okay. Deputy, I greet you. Good evening from here, my friend. Hello. Yeah, we have you. Hello. Hello. Am I coming out, Claire? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Thank you very are. much. Uh, without wasting much of Father, we thank you for a day like this, and we worship your holy name because there's none like thee, and there's none to be compared with thee. Yes, this purpose of this gathering of today is let it be fruitful that whatever we have gathered here to discuss to deliberate, to rub minds together, let it all end up in your glory. Let at the end have no cause to glorify your holy name. Give us the, the, the spirit of oneness, give us the spirit of righteousness, give us the spirit of togetherness so that everything we shall deliberate here, we shall deliberate in truth and in every honesty. But at the end, the purpose of this meeting shall be made visible in your mighty name. We have prayed.
Okay. Right. Just um, one minute. Uh, where is my, ca my, my camera has disappeared? <laughs> But you are seeing one. Okay. 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 Yeah, just one minute. Just one minute. I need to pick up some. Okay. I think there were some people that were moving. I think they should have, they should move up, they should move their, their, their mic. Yes, please. If you are not talking, you mute your mic, please. Very important. Right. Um, where is my Somebody, uh, somebody is watching football, obviously. Yes. Uh, I don't know. It's not my brother or my sister. We have to make a choice. It's either you watch your football and leave us in peace, or you stay and get engaged. In what we are doing, we don't do respect. It's fine, right? That one, the other one. It should be all right. Yeah, for sure. Ah, ah, what you call him? What you call him? Some people, no, it's my fault. Ah, I'm not going to do that. 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 I'm not but if you're not talking, uh, you can move your mic. When you want to talk, you can move it. Yeah, I'll move it. Uh, if you want to talk, you can write something and yeah. write messages. So you can find that you want to talk. Okay. Good evening from here all. Um, my name is uh, Uchima Fo. Um, as you all know, I don't know whether anybody everybody's hearing me. I'm not sure because I'm telling everybody. My Zipam is hearing you. Okay. We, we are all hearing you. We are all hearing you. We are moot. We are moot. Okay. This meeting is uh, very crucial. For me, it's one of the important meetings that I may or may not attend with all of you here present. And um, under the platform of IPOB as the deputy leader, But first of all, I want to say a very big thank you to each and every one of you that have attended this meeting and answered this call. I want to say a very big thank you to all well-wishers and lovers of freedom and justice. 
and I want to appreciate our brothers and sisters, especially those in Biafra land and those who are undergoing different degrees of pains and difficulties. They are our living and gallant heroes. Sorry, I have a distraction here. They are living and uh, they are living and are gallant heroes who are, of course, doing us proud. And in the last several years, we have experienced pains. We have also have momentary. Uh, momentary instances of joy. But this journey is not finished because we are still on our way to that collective self-emancipation. However, just like we are human beings and we are mortals, God will always have his plan and humans as well, we have peers. But in the end, that of the most high God will always prevail. I want to pay homage to the fallen heroes and heroes of Biafra who have uh, been mulled down on our journey to our collective self emancipation. May their souls rest in peace, but we are not going to abandon them because it is not over until it is over. This journey for our collective self-emancipation shall culminate in the ultimate restoration of Biafra. And that is the only minimum compensation that could be paid, that can be said to be, yes, acceptable to an extent. We, refer, uh, we reference to those who have died in this struggle. We pay homage to them. They are our living heroes, and we owe them eternal respect and commitment and dedication. And to the families they left behind, it is our individual and collective responsibility that we must stand by them at all times and support them. That is what matters the most as we speak. I want to also pay homage to the the ANSARS movement victims, those who were mowed down, and those who are, as we speak, not seeing different degrees of injuries and pains as a result of the murderous Nigerian army of destruction that actually unleashed violence on them. May their souls rest in peace. More importantly, the Obi Bo massacre. It is the most gruesome genocide, I must say, in recent time. Because despite the fact that the governor of River State, Nelson Wiki, was trying to exercise his right or responsibility as the chief security officer of state in this case, River State, or Iguota, as we should rightly put it, he went too far. He left the criminals that he should be pursuing, taking into account that he has at his disposal the security apparatus that will enable him to fish out criminals in the midst of those protesting. 
what happened in the end was an avoidable and unwarranted attack and violence against the innocent people community. It affected so many people. We must stand by those who have been affected. I mean, the source of these are Galangos and Hurrings and Beer or Beer Friends. Somebody saying they cannot hear. I don't. I don't understand. Am I not? Am I not coming now? I hear you. Go, go ahead. I have, and I don't know how far I can go. I have, I think it's, otherwise it will be distorted. This is over 70% or thereabout now. The person who is saying that he cannot hear me can actually increase their own volume of the sets that they are using, or the device they are using, I should say. Now, having paid homage and salute the courage of our gallant fallen heroes and even the living ones, I will proceed to the main subject of this meeting, and which has been entitled on the state of affairs state of our affairs with respect to indigenous people of Biafra, who we know. This journey started as far back as 2012-2013, and uh, till date I have been acting in the capacity of the deputy leader. It is with love and humility that I am here today talking to you, but this may be the last time I will speak to you as the deputy leader of this movement. But that does not also stop me to act in other capacity. The truth about it is that for quite some time now, I have not spoken to our people on radio and the usual media platform that we all know. And a number of people have been asking why. Why is Uchema Fon not speaking? Why is Uchema Fon not, 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 not speaking? The truth about it is that in recent past, there were a lot of things that have happened, and I am effectively blocked, excluded from broadcasting on Radio Biafra. Yet, people are asking about why I am not broadcasting. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin and those that he's working with effectively sideline me from doing things that I am otherwise doing before. A number of uh, people know that there are one or two issues from time to time. But it is now got to the zenith of it all. A few months ago, I started hearing about people, I mean, about um, people saying which number four is a saboteur, which number four is this, which number four is that, 
and then circulating uh, posts on Facebook that the person in charge of Radio Biafra will be sacked on a particular Sunday and all that. I was thinking that it was a rumor, but well, it never happened. I don't know the kind of sack. But I will go straight to pointing at specific things. I heard about the opening of IPOB community radio, just like any other person can hear it. Nobody told me about opening IPOB community radio. Radio Biafra was functioning. Radio Biafra was functioning very well, very efficiently. There was no problem. The only problem we were having was on Facebook. Facebook that limits our broadcasting, limits everyone. But all of a sudden, I started hearing about um, IPB community radio. And that was our leader, Mazin, and we can mention him that on radio telling people to download IPOB community radio, download IPOB community radio, uh, indicating that there is a problem with radio Biafra, and people were asking me questions. Some of them are writing on Facebook, this which them before, we know that he is up to something, we know that he's evil and all that, God has exposed you, a lot of things, you know. I wasn't very okay with the comments, and then, up to a point where I noticed that even those who are broadcasting on Radio Biafra, we are not broadcasting again. They, they were all, you know, broadcasting on the platform of IPOB Radio. <coughs> and nobody told me anything. Nobody informed me that there is another radio coming up. Nobody notified me. Even the broadcasters, nobody told me anything. The um, satellite services attached to Radio PFR was removed and put on the part of, um, on the platform of um, IPOB Community Radio. So, what I was then hearing on radio on occasions were people telling uh, Leader Marzin um, the Khan that um, Radio Biafra was saying something else and he was saying something else. They complained this over days. And people are asking me, why is the leader's voice not coming out on Radio Biafra? Why is he not broadcasting on Radio Biafra? And I was taken aback because I don't know anything about <laughs> the opening of um, IPOB community radio. If you take a decision to go and open up another radio, you went ahead to remove broadcasters who are on Radio Biafra, you remove the other services on Radio Biafra, put everything on IPOB community radio, yet without my knowing it. The programs uploaded online on Radio Biafra continue to play on the app. And then people are complaining, why? And they are asking me questions. So how will I explain it? So when they started complaining, the next thing I did was to write, he uh, sent me a message and say, I should, uh, I should um, give a former the access to Radio Piafra. I mean, I should hand over the login details to, to, to a form. That I know that uh, Radio Piafra um, streaming services is going to expire soon. But there, it wasn't true because nothing was about to expire. So I was asking him, why should I do that? Because Radio Piafra is on contract that I'm not going to. 
I am not going to change or collapse with you, Biafra. Why did he open up another radio? And why will I migrate with you, Biafra, to another platform? The radio Biafra is a parent radio. If there is another radio that is being opened, and there is any intention to bring it together, that it should have been brought together, it should have been brought on the platform of Radio Biafra. So, a number of back and forth for a few days. Even people started talking to me as well. And, um, and I told him that the best approach is to make the two radio together. Is to make it to bring it together so that they will be saying the same thing. That they will say. But why, in the first place, would you open up Radio Biafra? I say, I mean, IPOB Community Radio. Till today, he has to answer that question. Of former inside the head of it, and probably with other people, the broadcaster did not tell me anything. Nobody told me anything. So. And I come to a conclusion. I said, when all this back and forth were going on, that for the sake of those who died in this struggle, that I will hand over this with the hands off of it. He said, thank you. And then I gave him the details to you, Piafra. And um, he said, I should send it to a former. I said, no, I won't send it to a former. I will not. I will send it. I will give it to you. You can give it to him if he wants to give it to him. So within, like, say, 10, 15 minutes, he came back and said that the details were, I gave was not OK. And I questioned it because everything I gave was everything about the password and details. Nothing changed. Then I told him, if a former cannot configure this radio, then give me access to IPOB community radio. Why is he, you know, why, why shouldn't I have access to it? Let me configure it if you cannot do it. They say, no, it's not going on. It's not, it's not uh, accept, the password is not, um, synchronizing and all that. And I said to him, I don't have anything to begin. If you want me to configure this video, give me access and I will do it. So all of it, um, I, in the end, um, he said, okay, a former sent me uh, details of um, the password and other things for IPOB community radio. I logged in and within 10 minutes I configured the radio and they started talking. They saying, started saying the same thing. The problem of people saying uh, Radio Biafra is uh, saying one thing and um, our leader is saying another. Died down despite the fact that nobody told me anything. And then and people are also asking me, I have no idea what happened, but I'm being asked to render account, why is it not working, why is it not working? So if I'm the deputy leader of IPOB and the deputy leader of our, our leader Mazin, deputy to our leader Mazin, why wouldn't I know that another video is being opened and all that? That is the reason why you are not hearing about me on radio. But, but it has taken me a long time to come to. For me, this is a humiliation of the highest order. This is an insult on me because when you talk about the internet, the online aspect of Radio Biafra. You cannot write that story. You cannot finish it without talking about me. I worked for this thing for almost one year. And when I was researching it around 2012, 2013 or thereabout, 
Internet radio was not popular. Nobody sees it anywhere. It was at a time everything was coming up and it was so difficult to research. I did the research, I set this thing up, and, all, and today, somebody somewhere, I don't know how many they are, are trying to tell me that I am a, you know, I'm a Mugu or something like that, if I may use that particular um, word. So, I will leave that particular topic, but what I am trying to say here, I will leave that topic but without not mentioning the fact that I cannot be stopped from broadcasting on radio and talking to our people. I have been blackmailed, I have been humiliated in so many ways. And some of you here are clapping hands. That which I'm for, that which I'm for is evil, that which I'm for is this, that which I'm for is that. Now, after a week or two that I configured this radio, I went to broadcast. And for me to log in, I found out that I have been logged out that I don't have access to the platform anymore, and one or two emails I have access, they have changed the password, everything was changed, that I cannot have access to it anymore. So, um, I sent a message to our leader Manson Namdekam and asked him, why did you people go and change the password? Why? Is that supposed to, is that smartness or what, that I cannot broadcast? At the time I was telling him this, I also contacted the company that I signed the contract with on behalf of Radio Piafra, that I don't have access to radio anymore. And what they did was for them to disable Radio Piafra from their end. And then, the two radio started saying different things again, because online, there are preloaded programs that are there already. So, the, the radio BFR was repeating, <coughs> repeating old programs, I wish. So, the company said to make sure that their own system, their own side is okay, that they're going to disable. That is what they, that, why they did it. The following morning, um, I got a message from our leader saying I will look into it, but I should give him the details of, um, I should give him the details of those who are in charge of um, our radio Biafra, including the app. I sent it to him. And I also called those people and told them that the director of Radio BFI is coming. When he comes, sort everything out with him, give him access to everything. But our leader came back and said to me uh, that he has spoken to a former, that he go, he's going to send me a new password. And then I was asking, why in the first place would I be logged out and, you know, and then now I'm being sent a new password? as an outsider of what or for my school in the first place when it comes to this radio aspect because he's in charge of TV and satellite. So he said that uh, I should configure the radio again and all that. And I said to him, I will not go back again to configure this radio. I will not go back to configure this radio again. Not after configuring it, you change the password and log me out. I have given the details to you, contact these people, I've also spoken to them. Go to them. He contacted them because those people told me that he has contacted them. And he was in contact with them. But he went on radio 
and was shouting that Radio Biafra app has been sold, that the zoo has taken over Radio Biafra, that the zoo has taken over Radio Biafra. Uh, that, uh, I think he did that broadcast up to two or three days, making reference to it. But at the time he was saying all these things, he was in contact with the company. And then continued to say that uh, Radio Biafra under his nose was sold. Radio Biafra under he is the director of Radio Biafra, and uh, Radio Biafra has been taken over under his nose. Uh, he made mention of uh, Britain um, spending millions of pounds and all that. And then made reference to the fact that those in who person in charge of Radio Biafra. He is a saboteur, he's a traitor, and all that, and different broadcasts that he made. People were sending me messages. This UTML4 is evil. We know you. We know. This UTML4, you are evil. We know you have evil plan in IPUB and all that. He was comfortable saying all these things. Knowing fully well that Radio Biafra was not sold, and he knows what happened. He was in the know of what happened. He was praying at the same time and telling lies at the same time. <laughs> what happened to the oath that we took in IPVP? So what is the intention? When you say that the person in charge of Radio Biafra, the person in charge of our app has done this, has done that, what is he instilling in the minds of people? Because there is a confirmation, the evidence that he was in contact with the company. Even he even mentioned the company, but the company has contacted you. And you are saying Zeno Media, Zeno Media, they are the people, Zeno Media, the person in charge of Radio Biafra, all that I know, and all that. Then, when this thing was too much, I think the following day in the morning, I had to write on Radio Biafra, I mean on my page, that those telling you that Radio Biafra app has been taken over, or is in, under the control of the zoo, or it's been sold, that they are all along having access to Radio Biafra, why didn't they tell the truth? And I said I will come on, I will come online on my Facebook that day to say, to talk on distance and to also speak about uh, our people who are dying in Inkota. After saying it, a lot of people came to me, prevailing on me, don't come and do this thing, don't come and do this thing, don't come and do this thing. You know, so many calls from different places. So many calls. They prevailed on me from coming up. But I'm asking, how can I be blackmailed in this way? We are praying on air, we are praying to God at the same time Lying over the whole thing. Lying to the same God that we are praying to help us. What is the intention? And as we, as he was talking, they locked they um, um, don't have access to Radio Biafra because they changed the password. So till date, I don't have access to Radio Biafra. But one thing is clear. I will broadcast on a platform, I will speak to our people, and I will air my views, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Biafra Human Rights Radio has come to stay. The only way, if ever, Biafra Human Rights Radio will calm down is if IPOB Community Radio is down. And we now have access to Radio Biafra, which hap nothing happened to it in the first place. Everything you are being told 
everything you are being told is all about lie regarding that radio because nothing happened to it nothing absolutely nothing and for me to be called a saboteur a traitor hmm. in IPOB for me to be called a traitor and a saboteur in IPOB then there is no truth in what we are doing we must watch our movement our thoughts and the sincerity of what we are doing Somebody is saying Facebook and all that. I'm not on Facebook. This is a Zoom meeting, please. I'm not, I'm not streaming this thing live on Facebook. I advertise Zoom meeting. I didn't say I'm coming on air. It's not what I said. I advertise this um, meeting that I'm going to. I made invite for people to join me on Zoom, not on broadcast on, on uh, Facebook or something like that. So this is the story of our time as it is. As I'm talking to you, I'm not telling you to take it with a pinch of salt. Go and verify what I am talking about. This is the last the straw or the last straw that broke the camel's back. I cannot take the black male because it was very much orchestratedly marshaled that if Uche Mefo is a saboteur in IPOB then something is wrong with us and something is wrong with the platform that we are operating on I will leave that for a while. I have no idea. No, I'm sorry to interrupt you. There are people waiting to be admitted. I guess they lost out. If you can, please, uh, because they need to understand. They hear the full story. The problem is that how many? 95 now? Okay. 96. I thought you would have responded it out to two. Anyway, it wasn't meant for the public, and I'm, I don't even know the reason people were advertising it on, uh, on the Facebook. Yeah, it's 99 now. Yeah, um, if, I, if, I can, if I can increase it, it will maybe take me another three or four minutes. <laughs> So, so this is this is um, this is this as regards the radio, where people are insinuating that I don't want to broadcast on radio, I don't want to do anything anymore and uh, people are dying, I don't want to say anything, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. The truth about it is that I am sidelined and I don't have access to a real <laughs> platform. Uh, and that is how it is till now. So the other issue has to do with the bastardization of the so-called principle of command and control. There is no sincerity in application of this principle. It suits principle. Some principle officers are using it to victimize others. Excuse me. Um, this 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 meeting is being is being broadcast on Facebook by Rapture Media. I just confirmed it. Did you authorize it? No, I didn't. No. It's been, really? it's that, that means one of us is airing it on Facebook Live. Rapture, Rapture something. So you may wish to look into that. I don't know who is doing that. 
Please. Well, uh, to me, I mean, me, let me let me because because I didn't intend it to be live at the moment. I will not. Um, I will not allow it to continue. Let me. This. Why would anybody even want to print this? No, I didn't. It's been. That means one of us is sharing it on Facebook Live. Rapture. Rapture something. So you may wish to look into that. I don't know who is doing that. Rapture. Discontinue your behavior. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just trying to, I'll put in security. This sorry, sorry, um, mm -hmm. um, I would suggest that this meeting suspended yep. because if, if you don't have control over it or people are recording this um i don't think it's wise to continue it's not it's certainly not wise uh, a lot of a lot of allegations in fact you made quite a lot of allegations here uh, to That's some people, you mentioned them, you didn't mention them. I think it would be unwise. None of these people may not be here. I think it would be unwise to continue um, because it is a family meeting and we would like to, I think, I would like us to contain this problem. But it would appear to me that you have already gone out to, rec to register a radio. Um, which I don't know whether it's is too hasty. Um, if, if it's not too late, I would like us to step back a bit to see how we can rest through the problem. So, sorry, who is speaking? Um, you know, this is Chris and Jock who don't be speaking. So I would suggest, please. Um, I, 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 I'm suggesting if people are record, if some people are recording this, and 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 quite frankly, you don't have a control over it, and I don't think anybody would. There are many people who would find a way of recording this. Yes. Uh, it, it, it would be it would be really, really be we're doing a disservice to us. A disservice to everybody. And to strong class struggle. If this were to be out there, uh, my friend, I think we would have lost it. I would suggest please, please, that you please suspend this matter. And let's see how we can contain this matter that could well damage. Right, don't worry, I'll get This is not um, our, our Ebu Deputy Leader, Mazi Jennifer. You have been so wonderful. You have worked so hard, tremendously, to make sure you keep this struggle that this struggle will not be able to witness any irregularities or something that's somehow bizarre. We hold you in our heart. And no matter what might be the situation, I think what uh, the last speaker just said is what we're supposed to do at this point in time. This struggle at this point in time, in the beam of this struggle, we don't need someone like you to have a different direction while our leader is in a different direction. When our leader has no access to speak to us, you have been there for us. And we need you always, and we need you mostly now to consider your decision, the steps you have taken. We are appealing to you to withdraw your steps that we can be able to have this one formidable family that is about to collapse the zoo to robbers. Please, 
listen to the, the last lady. Um, let us I need to stop this anyway. I think what the two previous speakers have said partial is okay. The partial aspect of it is the meeting suspended is correct. Yeah, that should be correct. Uh, 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 until we get back again, Mazim for please, I asked you in the beginning of this meeting about managing this meeting. You must provide for people to assist you to co-host so that people can, for the next meeting. And please, uh, there are people that posted this on the Facebook Apparently, the reason why everybody knew this meeting is over now, this is in this is in house meeting. You are not supposed to post this on the Facebook. It doesn't matter how you you, you are high top. Okay, please do not post anything. If you receive an email, is I mean a, a link for a meeting is definitely for you. Man, Zimmer Fork could have done that on mine. So please, for next time, so I will ask for this meeting. To I get didn't on. send anything online. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I saw that already. So that's one thing. Maybe you can send this. You can send this to us to the recording. Uh, and, uh, you can stop me from recording and uh, end it on air or whatever. So, okay. So, let's try and see. Man, how is that going to it's you have to control it. Stop it by yourself. It's, it's you that are hosting, uh, hosting this meeting. Stop it for, for others not to record it. And stop it for others not to divert it. Block it by yourself. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and I will ask, um, this is... Okay, okay. Mike, can I can make it now, please. I will, uh, please, um, this no, is no, a no, 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 for please, uh, 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 Hello, 
Hello. Can I get somebody? You need to mute everybody. Mute everybody. I have. I have. The people are unmuting the. Okay, what happens? I will. Thanks, Corporal Gabriel Uzoma Mwako from Ken yes. London. Yes. My dear Deputy Leader. You have heard what some of our brothers and sisters said earlier on. When our leader, Mazin and the Colonel, was incarcerated, you, our deputy leader, which we met for, successfully held all of us together. And we have great admiration for you, your loyalty, your persistence, your formidability, we all salute you for it. Veteran, as, so, so as, I'm sorry, sir. This, this is still going on, you know that. So yes, what I would is, suggest my deputy leader is, please end the you can please, you can please put everything hanging on. Please, 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 I was to look into this. I would think at any meeting, please. The problem we have here is communication. So I don't need to continue talking. We need to end this meeting. Let us 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 end this meeting.